Some roulette players love a system. But in a game of luck with a house edge built in, surely it's impossible to beat the wheel. Roulette strategies can be fun, but how do they work? And can they really win? Let's find out. The Martingale strategy is the most famous system in roulette. It's also the most risky. If you lose your first bet, you bet again but twice as much. If you win, it's back to square one. But if you lose, you keep doubling your bet. Some players think you'll win eventually. But the truth is, seven reds in a row isn't that weird. And if you start with a one pound bet on black, your seventh bet would be 128 pounds. Eventually, players can run out of chips or hit the table's maximum bet. So Martingale might work once or twice, but in the long run, it's a big fat fail. Another famous roulette system is Paroli. This time, you double your bet when you win. The goal is to win three times in a row, then go back to the beginning. Paroli is less risky, as there are no big bets. But it doesn't change the fact that even money bets will never be profitable when there's a green zero at the table. Finally, a roulette strategy from France, which doesn't double down on doubling up. With the D'Alembert system, you raise your bet a little when you win, and lower it a little when you lose. Just like the other systems, it only works if you hit a lucky streak. No roulette strategy wins every time, or even in the long run. The only roulette strategy that really makes sense is to learn the rules, play games with the lowest house edge, and bet safely to keep things fun. Feel the fun.